Welcome back. Some terrifying moments for a family in Riverview, and it all caught on her surveillance camera. It shows the moments leading up to a deputy killing a man right near their house. And tonight we're learning the man killed there is a career criminal arrested for violent crimes like armed carjacking and robbery. Our Clifton French tells us how a dad and his two young children are doing a day after that man was killed in their front yard. Witnesses say Isaiah Salgado was going through this neighborhood trying to get into a couple of other houses when he finally came up on this home with a father and his two kids inside. It wasn't a regular knock. It was a big loud bang. Then he bangs the security door a couple times. Uh, I believe the cop's in the yard at this point. And this is where he goes and throws the brick at the cop. It's security video that shows the final moments of a man's life and the terror of a family living on the other side of this door. Steve Lasky was watching cartoons with his 10-year-old son and 4-year-old daughter. Within a matter of seconds, a man was dead on their front lawn. When I look at the people, I can actually see him running back to the cop car and throw the brick. I opened the door, saw the tussle, whatever, and then the gunshots. And the kids run. I told them to get in the bedroom. Steve watched as 31-year-old Isaiah Salgado charge the deputy. He watched the deputy shoot him, then watched as Salgado charged a second time. And then he shot him three more times. Only moments earlier, Salgado was in a car accident and ran from the scene. Deputies say he tried to carjack three people before running into Steve's neighborhood. His criminal history, a long list of violent crimes. He died next to Steve's mailbox. A sign leans against it, asking traffic to slow down for his children. Kids never saw anything. They just heard it. A um, little shaken up. The four-year-old, the daughter, was sad that someone had to die. But it was his 10-year-old son who kept that man from getting inside. He's the one who locked the front door. He, he locked the door when he came in, which I teach him to. A day later, Steve says he can't stop thinking about how this incident could have been much worse, hoping one day to shake the hand of the deputy who pulled up at the right time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Steve has lived here for 15 years. He says he's never had an issue, but he still locks his door. Yesterday's event shows just why that is so important. I'm reporting in Riverview, Clifton French, ABC Action News.